macOS Ventura has some pretty handy features packed in and it's only one month away, so many of you will be receiving this update pretty soon and it's good to know what comes in the update in terms of features, what's new, and what should you care about. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the best new features in macOS Ventura. So one of the main new features that a lot of people are talking about is Stage Manager. Stage Manager helps you organize your space when you're working on your desktop, and it does that by adding a sidebar, which goes ahead and stacks your applications. So if you have multiple windows open on your desktop that are cluttering the space, you can now go ahead and compress them into a neatly organized stack, which sits on the left side of your screen in this new Stage Manager. And it does this really clean animation which minimizes the window down into the stack at the side there. So super clean way of actually switching between your application windows and keeping your space very clean and organized. Now you can go ahead and enable or disable this feature up in the control center. So if you don't like it, you can just go ahead and turn it off. Something that's so overdue is a system preferences overhaul. I really dislike the system preferences app. It's just very cluttered and I could never find the options I'm looking for. I always had to go ahead and search. And so now Apple has went ahead and actually done a complete overhaul of the system preferences app. And now it almost looks like the iPhone settings app or the iPad settings app just blown up on a big Mac screen. So honestly, I can say this is appreciated because I'm familiar as to where specific settings are on my iPhone. So now if I wanna find those settings on my Mac, I know exactly where to look because I'm very familiar with that layout. So I think that was a pretty good idea of Apple to go ahead and fix the system preferences. Just a minor change is there's some new wallpapers. So there is an orange wallpaper which you can apply, which is the official macOS Ventura wallpaper. There's obviously a dark mode version as well as a light mode version. And there's also this new color section. So you can now go ahead and actually choose some colors from this palette and apply it directly to your home screen. Apple have now brought over some of the apps from the iPad OS or the iPhone, which is the clock application as well as the weather application. So now you can go ahead and set timers and alarms on your MacBook. It's pretty much the same as on the iPad. It's just kind of ported over now onto your Mac. And the same goes for the weather app. So now you have that beautiful weather app on your Mac and it looks exactly the same as on iPad OS again but it's now on your Mac. So it's a little bit more convenient. If you don't have an iPad, you can now make use of the weather app on your Mac. Something a lot of people might not know, but I actually found from diving into the settings a little bit is the notes app now allows you to lock and make notes private. So if you have some very important information or maybe you have some passwords or just something that you don't want people to see, you can now go ahead and lock it inside your notes app. And this can be unlocked using either your touch ID on your Mac or face ID on your phone. And then you may have seen recently iOS 16 has been released. There's a lot of new features over on iPadOS as well as the iPhone. And those features have, of course, come across to macOS Ventura. So now if you want to go ahead and undo messages or edit past messages you've sent within 15 minutes, you can go ahead and do that in the messages app. And then in the mail application, you can now go ahead and schedule emails. So maybe you're emailing at 2 a.m. in the morning. Maybe you're having a midlife crisis. You're up in the night you can schedule that email to send the very next morning at 9 a.m. And people are gonna think you're up early and working hard. You now also have the new iCloud shared library. So whenever you toggle the shared option inside your camera app on your iPhone, it's going to go ahead and put it in a library to which you have shared with all your friends and family or whatever. And now on Mac OS, you can actually go ahead and view that shared library. A really handy new feature is now you can go ahead and use your iPhone camera as your MacBook webcam. So if you're just tired of the bad quality webcams in the MacBook, or maybe you have a desktop and you don't have a webcam, you can just use your iPhone now as that webcam because the iPhone camera is pretty amazing, honestly, and using it as a webcam is more than good enough quality in 2022. Now, while using your iPhone as the webcam, it does bring some additional features that you wouldn't normally have, such as center stage, which means it basically tracks your movement and keeps you in frame, as well as studio light, and portrait mode. So it can go ahead and blur the background whenever you're actually in a video call. And a super neat feature which you can do when using your iPhone as the camera is you can actually do this top-down mode. And this actually goes ahead and uses the wide angle camera and it manipulates it and distorts it so that it looks as if you're looking down from above at the desk in front of you. So you can put down a notepad take some notes or put down some photos or really anything. And to the person on the other end of the call, it's gonna look as if there's a camera pointed directly down at your desk. So they can actually see yourself 
and whatever you're writing out or doing. And while you are on a video call, you can now transition FaceTime between your Mac and your iPhone. So say you're having a desktop call, maybe you're gonna go out somewhere shopping and you need to bring your phone with you, you can now go ahead and transfer the call directly over to your iPhone and continue with it while you're out and about. Other than that, there are some minor changes such as in Spotlight, it's slightly more powerful in terms of its ability to search throughout your Mac. And one of my favorite things is it allows you to preview all of the files that are pulled up within the search field. So whenever you search for something, you can now actually go ahead and preview them and scroll through all the different results, which is super handy. One of the most annoying things for me in the past was I would have plugins for my Mac on Safari that wouldn't be on my iPhone and vice versa. So now you can go ahead and share the settings and share the plugins between your Mac as well as your iPhone. So now it will be completely synced and all your preferences on your phone will be carried across onto your desktop. Another neat new feature in Safari is now you have collaboration mode. So you can go ahead and collaborate on tabs or tab groups. So you can share tab groups with your friends or your family, and they can go ahead and view all the same web pages that you are. They can create new tabs and so can you, and you can all collaborate and view the same pages all at the same time. This might be super handy if you're maybe working in a group project with someone, then you can go ahead and share all your work and all your research with everyone else in the group. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of excited for Mac OS Ventura. Obviously I'm using the beta right now, but the full version is gonna be a little bit more polished and there's obviously gonna be bug fixes and better battery life. So I'm kind of excited for that. But overall, it's a minor update, nothing really crazy, but some really handy, nice, neat new features. So I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Peace.